Mungu awabariki sana wale wote wamekuwa na boldness ya kusimama ku testify na pia kuweza uh, kuimba special song. Kwa hivyo sasa ni wakati wa kutoa sadaka. Kwa hivyo tunasimama tufungue wimbo na bali 2 na 15 tano ya kuendeshwa hivi. Song number 215 as we give our offering.
We pray that the Holy Spirit may guide us to understand and to apply your word in our heart. Dear Lord, grant me the speaker, the power of the Holy Spirit. Grant deep the listener, the power of the Holy Spirit. Not only to understand, Lord, but to also uh, leave the word. Dear Lord, we pray for our pastor. Uh, as he is still recovering, may you be with him. We pray, Lord, and even as we listen to your word, commit our needs. Uh, may do the word, may it empower us, may it encourage us. Some of us may be sick amongst us, Lord, uh, even if the point of not being able to listen to your word, we pray that you may heal us. Some of us are in luck. We pray, Lord, that through listening to your word, we may be encouraged. Some of us are needy. And we pray, Lord, that through your word, we may be empowered. In Jesus' name, we pray and trust and believe, and we all say, Amen. 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 Okay. What's a Bible? Yeah? Who's your Bible? I love Bibles. Yeah. If we have Bibles, I'm a happy person. If we don't have Bibles, who need a part of the sun? Okay. So as you have heard, my name is Animwe. I will add the other one for assistant pastor to remember. Nandika assistant pastor. Ngoyo Mwangi. Nimwe Ngoyo Mwangi. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, and I'm really privileged. Uh, Jesus come Ama mwenye na shukulikia nini kweza kukuja katika kanisa letu la maraba kusikiza neno na mshukuru sana. Na shukuru pia mwenye zimungu wa mefeo hai heo. Kuna baridi ni julai, sinio? Lakini kuna shukuru uh, we are like. Ok. Uh, Niko na samo hapa ini kwa faith, hope and love. Uh, Tamali nipea kalamu ni kachora kitu hapa. Faith, hope and love. Yeah? 
take peke nikipewa chance nyingine tutaongea kuhusu ko na next time nikipewa chance nyingine tutaongea kuhusu love lakini leo acha tu shikilia hapa kwa pay sio so chenye tafanya ni nitapeana token tapeana token si token za stima za kps za kiliba tapeana token za maswali nitapea Christine Christine rafiki yangu yeye ndiye ndio kwanza Christine Trust leo 
watakuwa wa organize msi wa kuongea hapa mbele si ndio si imekuwa hivyo una trust tutakula lunch si ndio you have faith una trust kesho itakuwa si ndio so kesho itakuwa ulipo me depend on your jinani ulipo me depend on your faith sawa sawa so but this is not the kind of faith i hope may get picture of faith faith ni kitu tunatumia kila siku kufanya mambo yetu it's something see yenye inatoka mbali si ndio yeah, yeah it's something yenye iko ndani kwa roho zetu so today i want us to talk about something better than normal faith you need to take a few normal faith is something called godly faith si ndio yeah at the end of the sermon we can tell us what godly faith is all about but first of all if you have a Bible, let's go to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, and read about faith in God, godly kind of faith. So, me will have already, and I'll read. Now, faith is confidence in what we hope for, and assurance about what we do not see. Faith is confidence in things we hope for, and assurance about what we do not see. Faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Assurance is kama evidence. Sindio? So, nime promise, nime promise kama u, kama u tao. Sindio? Anataka evidence ya hiyo tao. Evidence ya hiyo tao ni nini? Sindio hiyo tao. Sindio? Evidence ya hiyo tao ni hiyo tao. Sindio? Eh, so hiyo ndo faith ni assurance chenye mimi nimeambiwa nimepata evidence yake. Sawa sawa. So uh who was number 1? La person skipa kila msaya kuna hii swali kwa kwa roho yake ama kwa kichwa yake. Unaweza sema number 1? So who gives faith? Yuma kuna memory bus kuja isoma, lakini ni sawa nita isoma iko hapa. Romans 10 chapter 17. Let's see who gives faith. So mimi kwa hapo nitasoma immediately kwa wakati. So then uh, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Ah. Yeye kwa tatanishi kidogo si ndio? Ni wape basi ngine. Tutarudia kwa hiyo Ephesians 2 8 and 9. Ephesians 2 8 and 9. So, okay. uh, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that is not of yourself, it is the gift of God. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that is not of yourself, it is the gift of God. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that is not of myself or of yourself. It is a gift from who gives faith. He gives it as a gift. So that's what scripture tells me. I do not have any faith of my own, but God gives me free faith as a gift. Now, how does God give me? I had read in Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by... By... Okay, I'll read it, I'll read it again. Romans 10, 17 says, Faith comes by hearing and hearing the, by the word of God. So, how did I get the free gift of God? By? Hearing. By hearing the... You understand how that works now? Yes, I get the free gift of God because I have listened to his word. So it is not because I came to church, it is actually because in church the Bible was read and I was listening to what God was telling me. Alright? It is not because 
I gave up my offering that God gave me faith. No, it is not because I am a good person that God is giving me faith. Why is God giving me faith? Because, because of hearing the word of God. Thank you. Let me clap for you. I will not know how to clap for her. Thank you. So, I am getting faith by hearing the word of God. And what is this? This hearing of the word of God, it is a free? Yeah. It is a free gift. You think of the wonderful gifts. The best gift is that you are able to sit here with the pastor, with the Bible, and listen to the word of God. That's a wonderful gift. The best gift you might ever have. Number two. Who's got number two? Okay, oh, wait, just stand up. There's also another, there's, oh, the, it turns to the back, there's also another question. It says, how do I get this faith? So how do I get this faith? The answer would be, you have told you already. How do I get more faith? I need faith right now. What do I do? I hear the word of God. See, you? So if there's no chance to hear the word of God, I read the word of God. If there's no chance to read the word of God, I pray to God. Yes? So if I want more faith, I hear the word of God, I read the word of God, I pray to God. You got that? Okay. Next question. Yes. Why do I need faith? Why do I need faith? Yeah. That's a good question. The Russian account is visible. You know, what I need to do faith. I need to do my vows. I need faith. I feel it. Feel it. So why do I need faith? So there's a verse in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 that explains that we will see. I hope you have a Bible. You can turn to me to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. So I'll read it. <clears throat> But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. My important point to note is, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Him is meaning who? So without faith, it is impossible to please who? So why do I need faith? You always thought pleasing God is by being a good person, right? Yes. I actually thought the same too for a long time. If I thought if I am such a good person, I do not need anything else. But what does the word of God remind me? I only need to have what? Faith. Without faith, I cannot please God. That's one reason. I'll give you another one. Romans chapter 1 verse 17. So, because I'm there, I'll read. Romans chapter 1, verse 17, it says, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. So, that's a hard, hard one. Let me try to explain it. The righteous shall live by faith. In the Old Testament, the righteous people were who? The Bible. Okay, let me help you. The Old Testament is about which country? Come on. Which country? Is it Kenya in the Old Testament? Which country? Israel, right? So the Old Testament is talking about the nation of Israel. And what is weird about the nation of Israel? They have Moses give them what? The ten that is something weird. I have never, there's no other nation that had a Moses who gave them ten commandments from God. So the nation of Israel is weird because it has ten commandments. And all they have to do is do what? Follow the ten? 
and God will bless them, he shall bless their water, he shall bless their going out and their coming in, he shall kill Pharaoh for them, he shall cut the Red Sea, he shall do that, give them water, free food, manna from heaven, quail, everything, I will give you everything you do what? If you follow the ten? That's so simple, right? Follow the Ten Commandments, I will kill the Pharaoh for you, I will kill the Midianites for you, I will do all these wonderful things for you. Only if you follow them. So that was in the Old Testament. It was so simple. So one question. Did they follow the Ten Commandments? It turns out following Ten Commandments is not easy. It's actually really difficult. Let's get beauty. Following Ten Commandments actually is not easy. It's, it's very difficult. Do not kill, do not steal, do not murder, do not commit adultery, honor your father and mother, keep the Sabbath day holy. Uh, for instance, who kept the Sabbath day holy yesterday? Then you didn't keep the Sabbath day holy, see? Sabbath is usually on Saturday. See you? So we cannot follow the Ten Commandments. You realize that? Yeah? Who, who here 100% honors their father and mother? Me. Yeah, your mother, your, your father, they never make you angry. Ever. Never, ever. I have never heard of somebody's mother or father who never makes them angry, especially as a teenager. The drink for me, when I'm shook, she has a fire with a teenager. Fire. Fire, yeah? It's really hard. So, but the righteous in the New Testament are they living by the Ten Commandments? I have read from Scripture the righteous are living by by Lord read again and oh the just oh the, the word is just but um, just means righteous so if you've been justified it means you've been made right with God which means righteous that's why I'm using the word in the exchange so it says here the just Romans chapter 1 verse 17 The just shall live by faith The righteous shall live by faith So the righteous today are living by faith I will tell you at the end of the sermon what this faith is Okay? So bear with me So why do I need faith to I need faith to please who? And I need faith to live what? Which kind of life? A righteous life You don't need the Ten Commandments anymore What do you need? Faith. Okay? Yes. Yeah, if you bear with me, I'll tell you which kind of faith I have like 10 more minutes. So yeah. Okay. There's also another reason. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16. I'll read for you this one. Above all, carry the shield of faith so that you can extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one. So as a believer, how many of us are saved already? So this one is for you guys. If you are already a born again believer, right? You need the shield of faith to protect you against the fiery dust. Dust is arrows. So every time Satan is trying to attack you, you cannot use your good heart. But for Satan, he doesn't care about that. So the Bible says he only cares if you have faith. Alright? So if you have faith, you will be able to fight the devil. So you've been wondering, who Satan is touching the it's coming from me from all sides, temptation, uh, strife, sickness, everything. The Bible is giving you one answer. The word is faith. So if you have faith, you will be able to conquer the devil by faith. Yeah? Okay. Uh, I'll give you one more extra one. Mark 11, 24. It says, uh, I'll read this one because it's a very really nice one. Mark 11, 24 says, Mark 11 and 4, he says, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. So when you pray, what do you need? Which is your power? When you pray, which is your friend? Faith. If you pray without believing, without having faith, God says to himself, he will not give you. Do you understand that? Ukiomba na huwamini, mungu do anasema, sita utapewa. But you will actually get it. Yeah? 
So if you pray for something and you do not believe it, you will not get it. But if you pray for something and then you have faith that he has already given it to you, he says that he will give you. So reason number four why I need faith is because I want my prayers to be answered. Who doesn't want their prayers to be answered? I don't believe in it most. But we all want our prayers to be answered. The answer for that is faith. So I'll go to number three because of time. Three. Yes, please give number three. What do I do when I lack faith? So someone is asking here, Nimu, sometimes I lack faith. Yeah? So sometimes I don't believe in myself. I don't believe in the, even in the Bible. Sometimes even I don't believe in this Christ they are preaching. Sometimes I don't even believe in this church. Why are we coming for church for? Sometimes we struggle with this faith. That's why I say this kind of faith is so precious, you cannot give yourself. The pastor cannot give you. Only who can give you? God, only God can give you this kind of faith. So what do I do when I lack faith? Who can give you faith? So what do I do when I lack faith? Pray. Only pray. I told you, this kind of faith no one can give you. This kind of faith to believe that a man was born by a virgin and this virgin became the mother of a God because Jesus is God. A woman gives birth to God. This faith you cannot get it from reading books, brothers and sisters. This faith you cannot get it from reading and being, getting masters and PhDs. How do you believe that God was crucified on a cross? It's crazy, right? You was see moon. It's crazy. Yeah? God. Jesus Christ, who is God? Because he is the son of? Mtoto wa nyokani? Mtoto wa mungu ni? So Jesus Christ, who is God, died on the cross for your sins and my sins. You can't get this kind of faith anywhere. You cannot subscribe. Useme, wacha ni pewe pandos za mia, za faith. Doesn't work like that. See you. You know, people. Only who can give you this kind of faith? Only God. And you cannot get it unless you ask Him. Because He has to look in your heart and see, this is someone who is after me. This is someone who wants this faith. Yeah? And He will give it to you free as a, as a gift for free. You don't have to pay anything. You have already paid it on the cross. Uh, number four. The last question. Oh, interesting. Now this one I have to draw. So how do I know I have faith? So someone is asking, ah, me, me na jambua. Unaza juu amse me na jim na amse na kenda jim. Tudio? Una una juu a jim? Tudio? Kifua biceps tudio? Tudio? Yeah, it's so easy. Unaza juu amse me toka jim na amse na kenda jim. Juu am muscles tudio? Tuna eni wundi bausa. I will need to be an answer. So the same question, how do I know I have faith and how do I know I do not have faith? Hmm. Let me throw something here. Interesting. So I have a seed and I put it on the ground and the seed germinates and becomes a tree. And what does a tree give me? What is this? So fruit. And this is? Seed. So if this is seed, let's say this is faith. algebra. X is equals to 1. Video. And Y is equals to 2. Video. So 1 plus, no, X plus Y is equals to? Wrong. X one plus y is equals to no three. X is one, y is two. One plus two is three. Video. So that's equal algebra. So 
hiyo knowledge isipote wewe virusi nimesikia ndio umesema that isipote turudi hapa chini sawa isipote so this seed that has been planted in my heart is faith ndio you understand that now the seed is faith and it has grown into a tree and has the tree has borne fruit right so isipote twende tu hapa sasa tuko hapa virusi So is it correct to say that somebody who has faith we we will see by his fruits yes. it's that simple you cannot come here and say hey my name is hey my name is Simon and i have faith <laughs> yeah <laughs> Ni Lucia kole na ni na jari ukeas. That day have day we want day we all have day the cows have day the dogs have day we have day yes the club for us we all have day it doesn't work like that no no club for us we don't have day yet but it's a joke yeah but if i can see somebody performing their work let's go read from the bible and see how we know someone has faith from James chapter 2 verse 18 and 19 so the book of James explains us to us very well so i'm there and i will read it James chapter 2 verse 18 and 19 yeah a man may say thou hast faith and i have works show me thy faith without thy works and i will show thee my faith by my works so it says here a man says i have works no i have faith and another man says i have video so he says you show me your faith without works and the other one says and i will show you my faith by i'm not showing my faith with my works by my works okay so let's go back here if a seed produces fruit What does faith produce? Wow. What is it supposed to do? So, what does faith produce? Faith produces Show me. So, faith produces So, if you want to know you have good works, you have faith. You must have works to show. You must have deeds. You must want to learn the Bible. You know, you must want to, to learn God's word. This one you must want it. If you do not want it, don't lie to yourself. You don't have faith in it. Or you are mean, but if you want it, if this is all you want, you have faith. If you want to come to church, you have faith. If you do not feel like coming to church, if you want to live a a, a, a worldly life, if you just want to get drunk on Sunday, if you just want to hang out on Sunday, you don't want nothing to do with Christian ukipatana kwa nanini unasema au ndio msemaji ameokoka siko idhaa yake acha nini kata pepo bigenje you don't have faith you are interested in the things of the world if you have faith your works shall be seen so so let me tell you something if you do not have good if you show good works yeah if you show good works it does not show faith you understand that but if you have faith it will be shown in good You need to come to God repeat it. If you have good works, come on say it good. Necessarily doesn't mean he has faith. So so. But someone who has faith always kuna take kuna take seven 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 this plant is bananas. This seed is bananas or maybe an orange. Is there take it take an orange tree will produce an apple fruit? No. Faith produces fruits, but it only produces good good fruits good works in this case good deeds yeah so if you want one proof that you have faith just check your own self check what am i doing what did i do today what did i do yesterday is it is this faithfulness to god is this faithfulness to god's word is this faithfulness to god's spirit let me finish up by saying but don't just believe there is god yeah even the bible says the people believe there is god Yeah? So don't just believe this God. Act. 
behave, live, ishi, ishi as it is God. Yeah? Then show your faith to the world. Don't just believe that God has died for your sin. And this is where I promise you are telling what this faith is. Don't just believe that God died for your sin. Live like Christ died for your sin. From Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, this is the last verse we cross and play and pray for today. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. Yeah, got it. Let me read it. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 says, I am crucified. And this is what um, the spirit I've been speaking of. If you do not believe this, you have not been given God's free gift. It is sad, but it is the truth. But if you believe what I'm going to read from the Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, thank God you have received this free gift of faith. Okay? So let's read it together if you're there. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. It says, I, will, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I have been crucified with Christ. I believe that Christ died for my sin. I believe that he died for me and died for you. But for me, it's personal. I believe he died for me. So I do not live the life I want. I live the life he, because I was dead once. I was dead in my sin. And he died for me. The Bible says he died even when I was a sinner. Even when you were a sinner. He died for you. When were you a sinner? Someone doesn't remember when they were a sinner. I remind you, when you were born, you were born up. It's sad. But that's the reality. Because of one man called Adam who sinned against God. And Adam is your great, 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 great. That's all. And he sinned. And because of his sin, I am a sinner today. And yet today Christ died. According to the scriptures, Christ has died for my So I cannot live for myself again. I live for And that takes faith. And that is the faith we've been talking about. That is what is called godly faith. You do not live for yourself anymore. You live for Christ Jesus. I, do you understand this? So many of us have given their lives to Christ, but there are some of us who we struggle with faith. What do we do? I can pray, but I ask you to pray for God, to God, to give you this kind of faith. This kind of faith only comes through prayer. This kind of faith only comes through hearing the word of God. And I hope that by hearing the word of God, you had a seed of faith planted in you. And if you, if you continuously keep listening to the word of God, very soon you'll grow into a tree. Very soon you'll start producing fruit. And very soon men, men means people, your friends, your relatives, your family, they will start saying, this is, this is not right. We won't say, we won't say the blessing for my son. This guy blesses my life. I do not understand how. The only reason somebody can say that about you is because you are bearing fruit. Your works, your deeds, your actions are faithful actions. They are full of faith and it has to grow and it has to produce fruit. Because of time, I think I'll read there, but I'll pray and even as I pray, I'll give an opportunity. Anyone who wants this kind of faith, I know I have that kind of faith, that's why I woke up early in the morning. That's why Pastor Kev woke up before me even. And if anyone would want that kind of faith after this prayer, we have John, we have me, we have Pastor, we have uh, there's another there for the church, you'll see the right there, this pastor. Talk to them, okay? Talk to them. They will lead you. And let me assure you, they will not leave you with any other thing. They will lead you through them. 
word of God and then they will pray. It's just that simple. It doesn't change. They will lead, they lead you through the word of God and they will lead you through prayer. They have to ask God to give you faith. Because who gives faith? Who gives faith, guys? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today's word. We were talking about faith. Lord, we have discovered something new, something fresh, something new, something amazing. We discovered that, Lord, you are the one who gives faith. And Lord, we ask you, some of us are faithless. Some of us don't even know how to have faith. And Lord, we have discovered that you give faith and you give it as a free gift. Let me ask of you, Lord, to give it to us, Lord. We thank you for some of us who have received this free gift. Thank you, Lord, for leading us towards this path of righteousness, that we may be able to please you, because we cannot please you unless we have faith. We cannot get our, ans our, our, our prayers answered without faith. We cannot be able to step into the world in strength, in power, without faith, Lord. Lord, then how can we even believe that you sent your son to come and die on the cross for our sins, for our depraved bodies, for our depraved flesh, for our deathbeds? How can we believe unless you give us faith, Lord? And we pray for this faith, this kind of faith, this godly faith, this everlasting faith, this faith that stands forever, this faithfulness on your promises, because you yourself are faithful. We pray that you may make us faithful today, Lord. And some of us, Lord, don't even understand this faith because we do not have the Son of God in our lives. We pray, Lord, that you may speak to us when we have this faith by hearing your word, by listening to your word. We pray, Lord, that you may give us an opportunity every single time to get your Son. Even now as we are seated, as we are seated and we are bowed down. I'm going to give an altar call if anyone would love to receive this kind of faith, to receive the Son of God, to live, to live his life for the one who made his life. You want the Creator to own your life again. For many years, you have been running away from the Creator, the one who owns your very life. But your Creator came down, he searched for you. He found you on earth where he had left you and he died for your sins. And this is the story of Jesus Christ, who is God, who came down from heaven and who died for your sins so that you may come back to him. And this is your chance. Maybe the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. Maybe this is your day for you to listen to him. Maybe this is your day for you to finally give it a rest, for you to finally listen to the voice of Jesus in your life. He's calling you. Maybe give me a hand. Show me where you're seated. I'll come talk to you. Yeah, thank you for those hands. I see you. I'll definitely talk to you after this. Is there anyone else who's bold enough? Is there anyone else? Alright, thank you very much. Thank you, Lord. We pray for we thank you for the wonderful service. We pray, Lord, that uh, again as we go back to school, uh, that you will be with us. Give us uh, uh, a wonderful week ahead, even as we are waiting for next Sunday again to meet and listen to your word. Give us uh, love above all. Give us hope and give us faith. In Jesus' name we pray and trust and believe and we all say amen. amen. Alright? Yeah.